What is going on guys? I'm back for a brand new motherfucking video and I'm gonna be doing some game slander. This might be controversial, it might be about certain games, it might be just general opinions about games. So just know that these are just my opinions. You're kind of allowed to have your own. Obviously if you disagree with me that's okay. And if I'm talking about specific games, it does not mean that I dislike the game. And, like, overall, it just means that there are certain parts of the game that I don't necessarily like. And, yeah. So, without further ado, let's get going. So, the first game slander that I have is about sports games. And how literally every year is the same fucking game. They release the same game year after year after year this is pretty much for all sports games probably the only difference between the previous games and the new games is just the rosters so that's why i do not buy sports games every year i buy them every like two to three years at most if i do play sports games there is no reason why that i need to spend 60 dollars every year for the same fucking game like, holy shit, 2K literally had to stop making WWE games because they keep disappointing people. Literally, it is so bad with WWE games. They had to stop making for, like, a year. They released 2K22, uh, 2K20, and people shat on that game so hard, like, it probably clogged their toilets in their offices. They could not make a 2K21. They had to skip a year. Because 2K20 was such a disappointment. That's pretty much what I got to say about sports games. Is just, they're, they're all the same. They don't add anything new. And sports games players are going to be like, well, they added this. Yeah, they added one thing. They probably added little things. But it, overall, it's just the same fucking game over and over again. My second game slender are MMOs. There are so many copycats. Like, it is so bad. Like, I see an MMO that I like, and it, it's literally a copy and paste of different MMOs. And so, for those of you who are about, who are about to be like, well, this game is different, let me give you a, a, a quick rundown of most MMOs nowadays. You pick a class, and they're all the same class. You got your healers, your tank, your damage, and they're literally all mages or wizards or some shit. Like, it's literally, like, the class selection is all the same between so many MMOs. It's all the same. You got pick your class, you got craft the gear, you got to fucking grind for a hat in a fucking MMO game. Like, it is so absurd. Like, I don't want to spend three days worth of gaming just to get a hat so my third game slander and i have a spe one specific game that is like this but i'm sure that there are plenty of other ones out there game betas not being free why do i want to spend 45 fucking dollars on escape from tarkov when the full game isn't even released yet holy shit Game betas, if it is not a full game, you should not be charging people for it. Now, granted, I understand why people like Tarkov. I don't think it's a bad game. I actually think it's quite a good game. It's just not for me. But it's still in beta. It has been in beta since 2017. It has been in beta for fucking like three or four years at this point. Like, it is absurd that games are in beta for so fucking long just release the game for free if it's still in beta it's not a complete game stop charging people money for it make it optional to spend money on the beta but don't charge people up front to play a beta because they're not complete games there should be no reason why you need to charge people to play a fucking beta there's a reason why it's called a beta it is not a complete game Please just stop doing this. My fourth game slander is why am I buying M rated games if I can't swear in the chat? Like I swear to god, I spend $60 sometimes even more on an M rated game and I type in like fuck or shit 
in the game chat and it censors it. Why is there no 18 plus chat? M rated games means adults should be playing the game. Why are you catering to fucking children? Like, I'm a grown ass adult. I should be able to say fuck, shit, motherfucker, dick. I should say all these words in these chats. They should not be censoring words in M rated games. I'm sorry. You might disagree on that. You might be like, oh, it's protecting the children. Well, no children. If a game was supposed to cater to children, why is it rated M? I understand that these game companies cannot control who buys their games. Like, I was playing M-rated games when I was a kid, but the difference is, I experienced so much swearing and so much slander in these M-rated games, and I turned out perfectly okay. So, why is it that nowadays, you can't even, you can't even say the word fuck in M-rated games without getting reported or banned or getting censored? It is so absurd. So, my, my fifth, it kind of ties in the two. Why do I have to grind so much? to craft like so like this is mostly for mmos you need to grind for like a week just to get the things they need to craft a fucking like a sword or something or or shoes like i don't want to grind so much for a pair of fucking shoes you either gotta grind for it or you're gonna pay fucking money for it i don't mind grinding a little bit but if i have to spend like a week just to get a pair of shoes or a pair of pants just to buff my damage I don't want to fucking do it. I'm sorry. I have. I'm a. I'm a fucking adult. I don't want to sit here and grind hours upon hours just to get a pair of shoes. It, it's crazy. And my sixth and final game slander also goes out to MMOs that are quote unquote free to play. So this goes out to World of Warcraft and Wizard 101. Granted, I loved Wizard 101 growing up, and I still play it to this day. But when you say that you are free to play, for the love of God, don't give us more than one day's worth of game content. Even when I was growing up and I was a little kid, I had no idea if I even wanted a game after one day of playing it. Like, they give you so little content when you're a free to play person. Wizard 101 is probably the worst offender. Because the, that community has been asking for years for much, much more for free to play. And granted, if something happens to like the game, like if it, there's like a hack or like or whatever, they will give you free to play. They give free to play players like so much more for a limited time only. But other than that, you're don't expect to actually play for free because you're gonna get stuck behind a goddamn paywall and you're gonna have to pay monthly for those and it is so crazy i would much rather pay 60 dollars up front to and get unlimited access i really hate how games charge you monthly like i understand that these companies need to make their money i get that your free to play access is terrible please for the love of god change it that way more people are more encouraged to join your game and eventually want to buy it. Granted, most of these MMOs have so much that you can do, but you have to pay for it all. And I'm not expecting an entire MMO game to be completely free. That's not what I'm saying. But if you were to play a game for free, you probably got about a day before you got you get stuck behind some kind of paywall. I don't know about any of you, but I can't decide if I even want to play a game more after a day. It, it might take me like a week or so worth of playing it just to figure out, hey, do I want to invest money into this game or not? One day worth of gameplay is not enough for people to decide if they want to invest money. And especially if it's a, a subscription based game, please give free free players more content it's not that much it's not that hard to ask for honestly that's just the way that i see it so those are my six game slanders that i put up so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like it subscribe if you guys want to see more i might make this into a series i don't know we'll see how this does but until next time guys i will see you guys soon